What's going on, guys? I'm here with the lovely Isabel. And before we get started, we have to do a makeup check. Just uh, just for those of you who think that us carnivore dieters need to wear makeup to, uh, yo, you didn't you have to show the, they didn't, oh. uh, they didn't see it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> just so people think us carnivore dieters aren't wearing makeup to hide our horrible skin complexion. So Isabel is going to share her experience with veganism with us. So uh, I'll let her take it from here. So um, I went vegan two years ago. I did have no health issue whatsoever before. I was pretty healthy. I didn't have to lose any weight. Uh, my skin was perfect. This is actually from a vegan diet that we're going to cover um, a little later on. And um, yeah, I grew up eating pretty much lots of animal products, lots of milk, lots of beef, lots of uh, fish and um, I went vegan because I started to see all these YouTubers and all these Instagrammer, all these people in the internet that were promoting the vegan diet and well, they were liars. Exactly. <laughs> they were say they, they were just talking about all the health benefits that they were having and I thought that you know what, like that diet that's next level. I wanna, you know, I wanna get into that. I want to level up, you know, my health. If that's so good, you know, I don't want to miss that out. So I went into it. And for the first uh, ninth month to a year, I would say, like, I think that happens to every vegan. Like, we experience, like, good benefits. We feel well. We have no issue. You know, we you, you can see, like, the harm that you're doing to your body in that short term. So it was all good. After that, I started having digestive problems, really, really bad digestive problems. Um, I will be constipated for weeks, weeks and weeks. And um, yeah, like really, really bad. Lots of pain on my abdominal. I even gained weight. Uh, I started to have acne. I've never had acne in my life before. And my skin started to break out. I even got like grain hair which I read a uh, little while that it was a deficiency of B12 could be causing that even though I was taking you know my supplement every day and what else like depression I'm the happiest kid that like, you will see and I got depression and like pretty much everything that you can think of uh, like side effect of a vegan diet I, I experienced that and um, so after all those like negative side effects that I was experiencing I don't know how but I came across the carnivore diet zero carb diet and uh first of all I thought that was super crazy because I was already constipated on a high fiber diet so I was like how am I gonna consume zero fiber I'm gonna die I'm you know like constipation because every people I talk to about my health problems they will tell me you just need to eat my fiber just eat so my just, fiber just to be clear the reason you you know straight away from the vegan diet let's kind of just emphasize the health problems you were having okay. because and and you were kind of still you still had some kind of reservations you still had some confidence in the vegan diet despite having these health problems uh i did i did i think all vegans do like all vegans think that you know that it, it it takes a while for us to stop thinking that that was not healthy that you know that we don't need fiber then you know that you know, we need we don't need to eat so much plants uh to be healthy it's it it takes a while for your brain to rewire mm -hmm. so uh yeah I, every people i saw they were telling me in my fiber and i thought carnivore was crazy until i decided to give it a shot because i was so desperate that i, I would try anything the symptom and, that you were so desperate about being the constipation that was the main issue yeah despite despite the weight gain despite my skin uh the fact that i was constipated all the time and that I was so bloated all the time extremely bloated i will look like I, like i had three months and you know that that was not normal people say well it's normal for some people to be constipated for you know a couple of days well that's not normal whoever's mm -hmm. telling you that that's not normal and just to be clear i mean people are going to argue that oh well you didn't do the vegan diet properly but uh, you know, I'm assuming you were taking supplements, you were trying having a variety of foods, you were consuming kind of like 
what people would consider higher protein and higher fiber foods, like whole plant based foods? Absolutely. I was I I mean, I love rice, brown rice, quinoa. I was eating a lot of pot- potatoes, plantains. I was supplementing with uh, B12. I was taking another like whole vitamin, uh, multivitamin. I was doing it like the right thing that you will ever do. Any kale shakes? <laughs> any kale uh, shake by chance? Any kale shake? Kale shake, like blender, any blender action. No, 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 I didn't eat kale. <laughs> so just, she uh, had mostly so, just whole food, plant-based stuff. Exactly, no crazy shakes. Like, where, No, 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 I, I had all that, like lots of oatmeal, lots of uh, berries, you know, fruit, healthy fruits. Uh, everything in moderation, nothing like super crazy. I wouldn't go like one day eating just uh, vegetables or just fruits. I, I balance it out. And so it, it was, it was, I would say like the right way to do uh, the vegan diet, despite the fact that I was constantly researching. I was constantly looking for new recipes, look, looking for new uh, ways to uh, cook your food, to prepare your food, to make your food look good and healthy. So, yeah. But by like standard definition, you know, conventional wisdom, anyone that you told that diet to, they'd be like, oh, she must be eating really, really healthy. You know, she's eating all these whole grains. She's eating high fiber foods. Exactly. She's having high protein uh, grains as well. So that's how doctor couldn't. I'm sorry to interrupt you. That's, no, go, no, go ahead. That's, go ahead. that's how doctors couldn't understand why I was having all these issues because they thought I was doing, you know, like the right thing. I was consuming all these grains, all these veggies. So they, for, for them, they, there was nothing that I could do to better what I was doing. So despite all of these symptoms, you know, you had depression, you had bad acne, you were gaining weight. Until it became a detriment to your daily life to an extreme extent, that was the point where it was like, okay, I need to figure this out. Because unfortunately, most vegans will keep trying to kind of fix the vegan diet and try to find a solution but in your scenario, you being so bloated, you just kind of started looking for whatever you could do. I was desperate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was feeling so horrible that I was desperate. And I started consuming animal products. But again, I was so hard work with a vegan diet that I stopped and I wouldn't eat any animal product for three or four days. And I went back to my vegan diet and then I started feeling horrible again. And, you know, I was in that cycle for a while, for I would say like a month or maybe a month and a half doing, you know, like back and forth, back and forth until I say like, you know, this is enough. I don't feel good in this. This is what makes me feel good. And so I, I started doing carnivore full time. So you were switching between vegan and carnivore. Exactly. That's, that's pretty crazy. I, I know, but you know, I had all these things. I was I researching so much and I had all these things, you know, like fiber, whole grains, whole grains. If you go to any diet page or any health page, they're going to tell you grains. Grains are awesome. Grains, grains, grains. And so, you know, it was so hardwired with that, that for me, it was keep, you know, uh, it was coming up on my head all the time. Every time I was like eating something, you know, eating beef or something, it would come to my mind. Oh, but grains are healthy. And I would t- try to eat grains again. And then I will feel horrible again. <laughs> so I was in that cycle for a while. Yes. Yeah, that's really interesting that. You know, you had all these problems on this vegan diet and then you try to go carnivore, but then for some reason you keep thinking that you can go back to, to eating grains and it's going to fix things yet in the first place, it's, it's what caused the problem. Exactly. So that turning point, that period of a month, how was that? Like, where was the switch where you were like, what, what was the day where you were just like, okay, I'm going full carnivore. And that was the day when I was at the hospital and I was bloated for, I would say, maybe a week, week and a half. I couldn't go to school. I couldn't do anything. I was on pain all day. You know, like that really, because before that, yes, I got bloated and I got constipated, but it will go away, I would say, you know, within a week, week, week or something. But this time it took so long and I felt like I, I reached my, you know, I reached the bottom. I was like, this is not right. I'm not supposed to be feeling like this. Um, I, I got to do something about it. And, you know, my mom told me, even my mom told me, my mom was like, you know, you're not a cow. You're not supposed to be eating all those things. Uh, you know, stop doing that. Eat some fish, eat some meat, and you're going to be fine. You're going to be okay. So that's what I started doing. Mm-hmm. It's funny that non-Americans, especially Europeans and, you know, 
I mean, where you're from, Puerto Ricans, they have this old school cultural wisdom. It's so simple and it's so right. Exactly. Yet Amer Americans just throw it out the window as if it's nothing. It's unfortunate. That, that's what happened to me since I moved here. Like, you know, I was like, everything was so simple and so right for me that and I thought I was doing something wrong when I saw all these people doing these vegan diets and going crazy with, you know, like, um, and all those things that I they were eating that I was no I thought well I'm gonna get cancer or something I didn't want that so <laughs> yeah we had an Italian girl on a couple months ago and her mother told her what are you doing you're not a chicken you don't you don't, can't eat all these grains exactly that's what my mom told me my you know that 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 really like resonated with me she was like you're not a cow you know you're not supposed to be eating you know so many vegetables you're not a cow <laughs> So that was pretty drastic, though, you going from, you know, veganism to a carnivore diet. Now, it was hard. <laughs> so you've been carnivore for about. About a month, a month now, and mm -hmm. the breakouts have stopped. How what are Absolutely. the improvements like you're back to normal kind of where you were before the vegan diet? I haven't been constipated on the carnivore diet, not even one day. That's for me, like you know, the best thing. And um, my skin, like I haven't had any new breakout, like overall my skin, like it looks so much better. I'm taking a uh, cod liver oil supplement too. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's helping. Mm -hmm. uh, my digestion, like it's so, I can't eat like, it can't eat like one T-bone, like two T-bones, you know, like I, I wouldn't get bloated at all. I have lots of energy. I feel so much like strong and muscular and I, I'm not even going to the gym but that's crazy like I, I'm losing all the fat I lose I lost weight I lost all the weight that I gained when I first went vegan and I feel like I'm losing at prior as when I was in the vegan diet I feel like I'm losing fat instead of muscle mm -hmm. that's why I feel so strong this is the amazing thing about the carnivore diet you lose exactly. weight you increase your lean body mass your skin cleared up now but let's be very clear to everyone you had pretty much perfect skin before you went veganism absolutely it was 100 percent perfect everybody w was yellow of my skin before like everybody i never had a breakout like never ever so you know people wouldn't understand you know like what's going on with you you're gaining weight you're breaking out like you, what, what's going on with you did you have a message just to say to i mean everyone in general but in particular young girls who might be vulnerable to this type of information how old were you when you started veganism I was 19, yes. So very, very, you know, kind of unexposed to nutrition in general, never really mm -hmm. had a reason to worry about nutrition or health at any point at in your all. life. Exactly. And uh, give it a shot. So I would say all these girls that, you know, don't follow those things. <laughs> vegan diet is a trap. Don't, don't, you know, like, don't think about it. Don't go vegan. You know, meat is not going to give you cancer. Uh, Eat what you know that you are, that you are supposed to be eating. We are eating. We've been eating all those things for a reason. You know, we've been eating meats since ancient times for a reason, and we've been doing all those things for something. And um, you know, like you're at a point where you're really, really vulnerable with everything, and you're exposed to so many things uh, with social media, on YouTube, on Instagram, all those things. So be very like skeptical. Don't don't just buy it like I did. Don't do it because you know it's gonna harm your body. And maybe by the time you realize, it's gonna be too late. And uh, you know, like hopefully no. Hopefully there's nothing like any irre irre irreversible damage done to you. But you know there could be there could be some, and you're gonna regret it. We don't want that. I don't. I I, I really wouldn't want any other girl to suffer the things that I suffer just because. I didn't have any other information because everything every time I researched for something, you know, like vegan was the best thing, grains were the best, vegetables, you know. You know, a a big reason that a lot of girls will look into veganism might be part of the ethical, the environment thing. And unfortunately, you know, there is a lot more information that pushes those agendas than the health agenda necessarily. Uh, do you think you're unique in a scenario where you kind of fell into veganism for health, whereas other girls might be looking at the environment, they might be looking at, you know, an ethical sort of view? Or did that play a role too? 
for me, it didn't play a role at all. Like I never tried to convince anybody to go vegan. I, I, I was doing it because I thought that was the right thing for me to do at that point. Um, I never really cared too much about the animals. I'm sorry. <laughs> so it wasn't super hard for me to go back uh, eating carnivore because I was carnivore my whole life before. So um, no, for me, that wasn't an issue. But for some girls, I think I think that's what they attach the most to go vegan. Because, you know, you see all those videos of the animals suffering and it's really easy to, you know, feel something between and uh, so I think I think uh, <laughs> I think for the for the for these curves they use the animal um, I, I don't know how you say that the, like the animal suffering mm -hmm. the ethical exactly the ethical, moral yeah. mor the, the, the moral side of uh, veganism as well as environmental to really good things to be attached to to stay vegan you know mm -hmm. i don't know if you understand what i'm trying to say I think yeah that... unfortunately those girls don't see they don't see the deer getting ground up in the harvesters they don't see all the animals getting displaced exactly. and it's actually the opposite everything that you're telling the vegan diet it's the opposite the, what what's true <laughs> they don't see that corporations are literally producing like 70 percent plus of greenhouse gas emissions yet they're blaming people you know, they don't know that if you literally stopped driving your car, that's the equivalent of like three vegans. There's a, a lot of misleading done to get people on the vegan agenda. And it's, it's really unfortunate. Yeah, since I went vegan, I experienced all these side effects, side effects uh, that, I, that I had. And it, that, that was pretty much because of all the misleading information that I was being bombarded with and all the information that this people on the internet were sharing, but uh, everything that happened to me is pretty much reversible. I'm, you know, my skin's gonna heal, you're seeing it now, but it's gonna be great in a month or two. And I lost all the excess weight that I gained. Um, but for, for, some, for some other girls, like they may not be this lucky and they may suffer serious uh, health issues that are not going to be probably reversible now and for me even there's things that are not reversible like I'm not able to eat grains again I ate oatmeal the other day and I you know I well bloated I got constipated for three days so I'm, I'm not going to touch a grain anymore uh, and that's you know that's bad for other people I would say that they could be uh, much worse damage done that may not be reversible mm -hmm. Well, Isabel, thank you so much for sharing your story. I hope some uh, some people will actually listen and take it to heart before they consider going so. on a vegan diet. I, uh, I think that you know there are way too many anecdotal experiences of this, yet people still just uh, you know fall silent. You know, it's it's interesting. You could make uh, you could make videos trying to explain to vegans the problems with a vegan diet, and then when there is actually a video of a person that is no longer vegan. They say, oh, well, they were never vegan in the first place. Or they say, oh, well, they did a vegan diet wrong. Or it's just like radio silence. They don't really, unfortunately, have anything to say. But uh, again, Isabel, I can't thank you enough for, for sharing your story with everyone. Uh, thank you. Do you want to say anything to my, uh, my silly oh, group of subscribers? Uh, <laughs> I love them, actually. I pretty much went carnivore uh, because of your videos, because of the information that I was finding in the internet. Otherwise, I will still be, you know, like, on that circle of vegan and feeling bad and then trying to go vegan and do it right again and all that. So I would say to all these people, like, listen to this guy. He's, he's, he's got it right. So I listen like to it. him, subscribe to his channel. <laughs> it's all right. true. Like, I, I review all your videos and all the information, like everything, everything. So listen to him. Makes sense. It's scientifically correct. I like it. You could be my <laughs> PR person. So <laughs> let's say goodbye to everyone. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks for joining us.